Hi, Aaron at Motion Analysis again. On this little short video clip, and when you're using our Lib product or if you're doing designs out of Sample Maker CAD, you'll see me use the term allowance a lot. And what we're referring to is a lot of times it's the flutes in a board, the thickness of the material that we're using. So on this insert piece that I took out, this is cut out of E-flute. And you'll notice that you can see the little spacings. So the spacing distance are these fluted differences. So E-flute is, since they're so close together, it makes for a nicer printing surface. There's also other structural reasons that I won't go into. On my outside shipper, you'll notice the flutes probably don't show up so well, but they're going this way. And this is B-flute, which is approximately 1 8 inch apart. So these are tight together. These have bigger flute spacing, and you can see the flute spacing much nicer here. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about flutes. We also talk about corrugation direction. So most of uh, all of our library items that are set up for corrugated will be run so that the flutes, when you look on the screen, it, the orientation of the flutes is always up and down by our library items. If you make your own unique item, you might have to think about that when you're doing your design. In corrugated, they typically, when they call out a sheet size in manufacturing, they call out corrugation direction first, in this direction second. So on this one, the flutes are going this way, corrugation first, this second for the blank size, your outside blank. In folding carton, <clears throat> it's the opposite the way they call out their sheet sizes. So they don't go with the, with, with the corrugation direction first. It's the machine, the, the paper direction is your first call out on your blank size for your overall blank. Thank you.